do you love? Who do you love? Gan Gan. The P A P, as we call it. Uh oh, that's too big of a bite. Or the P A C I is now being put up. Only allowed. Only allowed at bedtime. So, you want a bite of my yogurt? Huh? No? Okay. So, we're trying to get him off of that. Because he truly loves it. And I don't feel like the talking is really going to begin until it stays out. He's showing a lot of the same signs that Rhett did. Rhett had to have speech. And so, I said the other day, because they sound a lot of stuff, but Rhett really did not talk till he was close to three, and then you could understand him. Reed was talking from, oh gosh, he was talking great when he was this age. And so, it's just a difference in kids, but we do know we got to get the PAP out of his mouth, so... And we did good this morning. Gingen brought him some chocolate milk and some panty cakes, as they call them. <laughs> Is that good stuff? What's your brother's name? Can you say Rhett? It's yogurt. You want a bite? Oh! Hey, can you say Rhett? Now say it right. Say it right. Hey, say red. Well, that's closed. Hey, put your tongue in your mouth. Put your tongue in your mouth. Close it up. Say read. Read. Say it. Read. Let's see. Uh. Uh. Read and read. Mommy, Mama, Daddy, Papa, Papa, Gan Gan. What? Say Gan Gan. Say Papa. Papa. Granny. You're acting silly. You're acting silly. Are you a sweet boy? Hey, are you a sweet boy? Are you getting out of your high chair? Are you through? Say thank you. Huh? Oh, goodness. Whose ears are those? Oh, well, you just, why don't you just throw them away? I wanted you to put them on. Are you going to put them on? Uh-oh. Are you Mickey Mouse? Oh my goodness! Are you Mickey Mouse? M I C K E Y M O U S E. There they go. Say it's nap time. Mickey Mouse pajamas on too. Where are we going? Is that Gang Gang's car? Are we going to go get brothers? Uh -oh. Say brothers. Say brothers. Can you say brothers? Hi. Are you a big bully? Huh? Hot. Hot. It's the sun's bright. It's not hot. Say the sun's bright. Uh. It's the sun bright. Oh, hot. hot. My goodness, you're a big bully. Are you getting in speed? Let's walk up to the grass. Me and my shadow. Are you my shadow? Uh-huh. Soccer boy. Are you a, you got a soccer ball on your shirt? What's on your shirt? A ball? Hey, go, whose car is this? Is it is it yours? Okay. It is. 
Are you in your car seat? Hey. You are? What, are you, what did you find? I do. Who is that? That's mine. Is that yours? Say Minnie Mouse. And I got a car. You ready to go get brothers? Okay. Okay. Hey guys, my sunglasses are still dark. I'm waiting for them to turn back after getting in. I've been with this precious boy today and uh, just left Ashley Michael's house going by Reed's old school. It's quite a little hike to the school they're in this year, but their house will be finished before the school year is over, so it's worked out really good. I am plain Jane today. Can we say plain Jane? I got it real early and took a shower and washed my hair and dried it and semi-straightened it before I came. But no makeup day when you're playing with a toddler all day. So, But it is a beautiful January the 9th. Um, I guess I've either already put it in there or um, I'm going to do it afterwards. I don't know what order. I've just been uh, videoing him some today. But it's 49 degrees on January the 9th. So that's been the cooler part. We actually hit the 70s the earlier part of the week so crazy Alabama weather you just don't hardly some years we do but I don't even have a jacket on I mean you know it's just not now if I was gonna be out in it for any length of time I'd have a light jacket on but when I see all that snow that is piling up up north I'm not gonna complain look how what a beautiful day it is just beautiful look at those blue skies just beautiful sunshine so but I just I had put on let your light shine if y'all are not a member of the let your light shine Facebook page and you want to be for prayer requests and just communications and all that the link is always in the box below for my page I guess y'all hear mr. mr. Riggs man yeah him is there's that sweet boy. I have to put him behind me because the way I pull up at the school, the boys get in on the right. But I did post last night on Let Your Light Shine that my mom's, Mama Loves CT scan was normal. And uh, they said her blood work was steady. I don't know if that's a term that's normally used. I don't, usually they will say good or everything was good. They said steady. So I don't know if that's for her age or what, or just maybe it's, she's maintaining. It was a six month checkup with the new doctor, but we were supposed to go next Monday. So as you saw, she was adamant about not falling. But what she was talking about was falling the night before. I knew the bruise was older went and spent about two hours with her Tuesday evening because John um, went and played poker with his brothers and so I took her a sandwich and I had some chili that I'd made and I took it for the next day either her bangs were completely down or it had just not shown the color in it yet because now she can remember that she was sitting on the side of the tub. I can't imagine why she was sitting on the side of the tub. She has a bar uh, in the bathtub to pull her up. She showers all the time. So I don't know why she would be sitting on the side of the bathtub. But she said she slipped. So it's her bathtub, her sink, and then her commode. And said she slipped, went forward, hit her head on the commode. And that's scary because she, even with that being on her head, she had no recollection of that. So, uh, she has some dementia and of course she doesn't like to talk about it. And we have her on the dementia medicine. But, gosh y'all, she's going to be 92 in March. So, she really, as you can well see, does fabulous. But I see a lot of stuff that y'all won't see and, and pick up on a lot of stuff that y'all don't pick up on just being with her all the time um but so she was just in the bathroom and then just had a, a remembrance of it so that shows you how she can forget things but thank god thank god in heaven that 
we went to the cardiologist in November. She did the stress test, all that. The cardiologist took her off the Coumadin. Praise God. Because if she had hit her head like that, and me not knowing it, she could have easily had a bleed and bled to death. So, praise God for that protection. So, I was a little shocked that even with the bruise and all that, that she was not remembering it. I was a little shocked. But, what can I say? You know, I forget stuff too. But, um, so as far as I know, everything's okay right now. Um, she's changing. She's changing a lot. Um, I had her off five hours that day and she talked the whole five hours. <laughs> it's no joke. No lie. She, I guess she's by herself so much and, and everything is everything from the past because when there's nothing going on in your present, you talk about your past. So she tells me stories every time we go somewhere that I've heard 900 times. But I just sit and I'll say, yeah, you've told me that before or yeah, I've heard that or sometimes I'll just act like I've not heard it before. I don't want to disrespect her because I may be that very way someday. But I just want to say welcome. I have a whole lot of new subscribers. I know a lot of people came in on my Christmas home tour. And so I'll be putting up some teaching lessons later. I will continue to do vlogs. I'm trying my best on the 9th day of January to sit down and to get my new bullet journal started. I'm working in another, that Hobonichi that I showed y'all. I am working in it and got it in my purse. Did you drop? Well, okay, I'll have to get it in just a minute, okay? I'll get it for you. Drop, I heard the car drop. So, uh, but I just wanna say welcome to all my new subscribers. And um, this is a no drama channel, you will find. And I may be boring to some of you and you may not want to watch and some of you may love it. But we have a good time on here. Develop a lot of relationships. And just talk about life and the goodness of life and the goodness of the Lord. Because He is good and He is my all in all. And um, he, He's what's gotten me through a lot of traumas in my life. And of course I'm going to pick up two of my three boys. And so if you don't know a lot about me, I have three grandsons that you will see and hear a lot about. I have a beautiful daughter that is an awesome singer. I have an awesome husband who everybody on here has fallen in love with. He's a hard worker. He's funny. He's good as gold. And the Lord saved him for me. I went through a divorce after 21 years of marriage due to um, reoccurring infidelity. And <clears throat> he worked at the college where I did and he was six years younger than me and I never gave him a second look. He was just the young guy down the hall. <laughs> That's all I ever thought about him. Actually, uh, we were doing undergraduate work at the same time. He was in a different cohort than me, but actually one of my friends liked him and really wanted to get fixed up with him and that never really panned out. I tried to fix him up with people from my church before when he was in between dating people, but the Lord said, no, I got a plan down the road for you and Mr. John. We often talk that neither one of us saw it coming. And that's the reason it's such a God thing. Um, he's six years younger than me, so I, he was just the young guy down the hall. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. I liked him, and um, he was just sweet as he could be. He fixed everybody's computers, and now he is the director of a computer services college-wide. The Lord has just moved him up. It's just, it's been a beautiful thing. So, uh, if you're new, catch up on a little bit of my history. He and I have been married 20 years now. And 20 wonderful years. He is the best stepfather and grandfather that could ever be. And um, like I say, quite often, if you have a child in your house, you better know what a man is like before you bring him in with your child. And because I knew John's character, I really didn't know him, know him, but I knew what everybody thought of him. Everybody at the college loved him and still does. And I guess because I knew that, it made a difference. It was not like I had met a stranger. But my daughter was 15 when we started dating and was 16, almost 17, a year and a half later when we got married. 
and so you better know who you're bringing in you better you better get on your knees before God and and see who you're bringing into your house with your children I don't even know why I said all that but John's just so good and I've been so tremendously blessed but I'm going to get my two big boys and so I may talk back with you a little bit but I just wanted to let you know verbally that mama love is good and um, I really think by the look of that bruise that it truly it truly did happen over a week ago and um, we're just gonna be praying for no more falls no more stumbles and because uh, she's done really good so but I'll talk to y'all a little bit and they you show them your name and they sign you a number to your car so I'm number one this one in front of me is number 10. That's as far as it goes. They've got the bigger kids that help them get in the car. There they are. <laughs> Hello. I'm getting you a video. Hi. <laughs> What's that eyebrow? I, I was going to say that. Buckle up. was Reese. But it doesn't have a racer. Oh, really? He says that's his. How are you guys doing? Good. Good day at school? Yes. Uh-huh. All right. I that, got them green. Is that good? And I, and I got on the good color. The best color. What'd you get on? Pink? Pink. Oh, sit down and buckle up. It's actually a, hey, it's what? actually a stamp on my head. I see that. What happened to that spot on your head? There's a stamp on it. Oh, a stamp. <laughs> Is that what you got for being so good? No. no. I, mean, I told McKinley. To no, no. Oh, did you? She had a, I mean, she had a, a no plate. Uh-huh. They love their I school. Know. Hey, YouTube, I'm going to tell you my story I about know. my friend. Rigsy. Be quiet now. I'm going to tell you about my YouTube. If you can, I don't want to say you can. Don't find the address though. Um, my mean friend story. He for real made me get in this club. That if I make a lot. Riggs, and you be know quiet. know kind of funny. She's yeah. going to kick me out of the club. Well. You just don't listen to him because you don't care if you're in his so club. Will, so tomorrow, if you won't let me, like, <coughs> he does it all the time and he says, oh, I only do it a little bit. What? That's what? a humongous, that, that was a lot. Um, uh, and. You don't have to be in anybody's club. You're, you're <coughs> pulling up. What is Riggs screaming about? I don't know. Maybe it's. He screamed like a girl like this. <coughs> Riggs, what are you screaming about? Did he drop the phone? No. He dropped the my lunch box, I think. Uh-huh. Um, and... Riggs. So, if he don't let me, like, make it like she does... I'm going to have it. I'm just going to quit. I would too, buddy. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do to oh, be in I'm somebody's tired. club. Because I'm tired of him controlling my life. There you go. Um, there you go. Mm-hmm. I want to have... Oh. Well, Riggs has got it right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad y'all had good days. But yeah, Reed, he's not, you're the cool kid, and you don't have to do anything anybody wants you to that you're not pleased with. You are owned by, who are you owned by first, all? Oh. God. God. And who are you owned by secondly? My parents. And then who are you on by third? Okay. Your own self. You take control of what happens to you. And people will try to get you to do stuff like that's when you get older. They'll say, here, smoke this cigarette. Here, just take one drink of beer. It's not bad. Here, smoke this marijuana. And you say, no, thank you. I don't need any of it. Except Definitely that last one. It's a drug. Yes, it is a drug. Hey, Dad. Yes, baby. I'm, I want to eat some more pancakes. Well, uh, tell me, 
to me like what you said after school about Mr. Giant Robot. What about him? I don't remember. Well, tell me the most interesting thing about him. Well, he got the hoverboard and he rides it a lot and he never wears a helmet. Oh, that was what you were telling me, that he never wore a helmet. Because he's too big. And why has he gotten so big? Because... What, because of what he eats? No, because he, because he's a robot. You tell me because he eats eggs all the time. No, that's how he got very strong. Oh, okay. So he can't pick up everything. Oh. Have you ever seen Mr. Giant Robot? No, I've never seen it. You never seen I him? I haven't made up it. I haven't made it yet. I made up it. I make it when I I'm grow up. Uh-huh. I'll be everything when I grow up. You will. What do you think you want to be when you grow up? Planner. A cleaner? No, planner. A planner, yes. Because you love to plant things, don't you? Yeah. One time I'm planning for Mason. Mm-hmm. Tell him what you planted this past summer and that you ate. Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't got any more because my mom and my dad threw them away. Well, it's because the season is over. When it gets spring again, you can plant some again. That you can, there's only certain times of the year that you can plant them. Do you enjoy my new iPad? Yeah. Hmm. Where's your oh. iPad? I don't know. Do you like mine better? Show them what happened to your teeth, these. Loose, loose, loose. Hey, is that other one loose? No, it's not, not yet. Loose yet. Mister, I hear a lot of Mr. Giant Robot st stories. He tells me Mr. Giant Robot stories all the time. Yeah, because I ain't um, me done talking about him yet. No, you probably got a lot of stories to tell, haven't you? You got a lot of stories to tell about him? What is uh, that thing? It's a banana that you shred. Oh, my goodness. It's a toy. I'm glad to get here, and I'm surrounded by beautiful guys. I got one that's pouring toys Bye. on me. I got one over here playing roadblocks. Okay, I got one that's squealing, of course. Oh, you're okay, you're okay. Uh-oh, don't fight with brother. Uh, brother, don't you come near that eye again. So I've already had a hurt eye. No, don't be <laughs> your brother. Hey. Hey, hey, stop, stop. <laughs> stop. Well, that I will get my revenge. Oh, Rick, I mean, Rick, you're gonna hurt his eye again. Are you fighting your big brother? You get a quick fight, Jim. I'm gonna cry to chop you. You're gonna cry to chop you. Oh, I got three boys all on me. Okay, Red, that's enough. He keeps on hitting well, me. he's little. You've hit, listen, you've hit Reed enough during your lifetime to make up for all the hits you get. Do you know how many times you've hit Reed? No. When you was little bitty, you used to hit on him all the time. Get your stuff, buddy. Is your eye, is your eye better? Did you tell him what happened a while ago? What happened? Your eye? Did the book hit your eye? Let's see. Look here. Let's say it hurt. Did we pray for you? The, yeah, did the uh -huh. book? Uh -huh. Did we pray? Ow. It was this eye. <laughs> yeah, did me and brothers pray for you? Uh -uh. Yes, we did. <laughs> I Get your brother's seat. See, my face is red. I'm burning up with all these boys sitting on me. Say, so hurry up, Daddy, and come home. You gonna Who's sing it too? Make believe that you can be anywhere. I don't know the words. Have me and you been together all day long since seven o'clock this morning? <laughs> it's now five o'clock. <laughs> I've got a Walmart grocery pickup. I'm fixing to go for the first time and do that because their grocery store here picks up. So maybe Daddy will be here in a few minutes. 
but it's been a great day. I hope y'all have enjoyed coming along with us. Thank you for the prayers for Mama Love. And I'll see you next time. Tell them bye. Bye. <laughs> Peace. Peace out, brother. When the room. Red, tell them bye. You do. You gonna do whatever brother does. Is your eye better now? Uh huh. Oh, good. Gang, gang kissed it, and we prayed for you. Tell him bye. Bye. <laughs> See y'all. Bye.